I've been doing more work on the system using a BD35 air compressor and what I've done is put an air-cooled condenser on it and this is the one that came out of the dehumidifier because I replaced the condenser with a water-cooled one and it's working really really good before I had a liquid-cooled condenser on it which is sitting here it uses 4mm copper tubing but uh, the tubing size inside this condenser is 5mm and I've noticed that using this condenser the liquid coming back in the filter dryer is much cooler than using the liquid cooled one some of because it just of heat transfer and efficiency that's all it was and it's working a lot better now I'm currently running the, the voltage into the controller which drives the compressor the inverter that's currently running at 80 watts at 50 volts and I think it's slightly more than the compressor designed for and the compressor just now is very slightly warm and it's running at full power the discharge temperature as well it's not that hot either and it's just using my blend refrigerant I'm just trying to cool this bottle down because I'm going to recover refrigerant out of a different system if the bottle's colder then uh, you can recover more and it recovers easier as well but that's what I'm doing with it, it's just got a, a different electric bike controller on it today uh, a smaller one that's pretty much stone cold 82 watts is nothing for this controller considering it used to run 2 kilowatts through a hub motor to run the fan and the water pump in the bucket I've just got my wide voltage range DC converter which was actually just a cheap Chinese plug-in power supply 12 volt so there's 50 volts going in the input um, and just 12 volts coming out and the shroud around the condenser is just basically wood and the fan is just in the back there stuck to a piece of cardboard and it's just all held together with hot melt glue except from the condenser which I've just uh, put screws in and it just grips it onto the front I've got a high side and a low side service valve too. When I switch it on, this bit here actually freezes up, but um, it doesn't freeze up again until the water gets down to temperature. I need the water to be pretty close to freezing. And some of you were asking about how I've actually got this wired up. So, 24 volts, or you could even use 12 volts, or um, whatever voltage you like really um, up to about 48 volts comes into a DC boost converter uh, just one, it's just one of these ones you can buy off eBay pretty cheaply and then 50 volts comes out of that and uh, the 50 volts is then, then getting stepped down just with this little, can, just with this, uh, little power supply here to run the water pump and the fan and then it's going out through a watt meter into the electric bike controller and on the throttle input of the bike controller this is really important I've got a 5k potentiometer so when I twist this I can adjust the speed of the compressor and that's just on the throttle input uh, the wiper terminal the, the one with the adjustment on it the middle one just goes to the the throttle input wire and one just goes to the 5 volt and one just goes to the ground and then out of the controller the three phase alternating current comes out and then just goes into the compressor you absolutely cannot use a start relay or any just basic alternating current start system on this because the compressor will just get destroyed the controller I am using is just a sort of generic electric bike controller off eBay which um, you just really need one that can take um, 48 volts, just buy a 48 volt system um, 48 volt controller and it, and it should work okay try and get a controller though it doesn't have one of those uh, sort of control panels attached to it just try and find a simple one which just basically needs power, a throttle input and uh, a power switch 
because uh, if you get one that say that comes with uh, a meter sort of like this then it's just adding complexity and uh, then you have to have this thing hanging off it.